I don't know if this is working. <laughs> okay. Um, so live really confuses me. Hold on. Oh my God. Hi. Um, hello. Welcome to my YouTube. Um, hi. Hello. Hey. What's up, guys? Um, yeah, I just wanted to do a live chat because I haven't in a while. I've only done like one on my YouTube and so I thought I might as well do one here instead of Instagram. Oh, thanks. Um, yeah, I decided to put like a little bit of makeup on because last time I did this, I didn't realize it saves to your page. So, um, what are you guys up to? What's going on? Hi. Oh yeah, hi. How's it going? What are you guys doing? Um, where in the world are you? For me, it's five o'clock, so I didn't want to make it too late for everybody. Hey, hi. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to hop on a chat. Oh, nice. What, what school? High school? College? Where are you at? Ooh, Michigan. Very cool. Um, yeah, so I posted today that um, I'm going to be doing a release video or a release party for the music video for anybody that's on the West Coast or wants to come to the West Coast. Um, wait, where is it 206? Whoa, wait a second. You're up late or early, I don't really know. Um, you're drawing my mom? Yeah, she's pretty cool to draw. She's got a nice bone structure. Um, West Virginia, been there a couple times. So anyway, yes, um, we are gonna be putting together a music video release party. And it's gonna be in Los Angeles. Um, I can't do too much info yet because we're still figuring everything out. But hi in Asia, that's awesome. What time is it in Asia or like where you are? It must be either really late or really early. My mom isn't here. This is actually my apartment. And my mom lives like 20 minutes away. So I actually go over to do my laundry sometimes. Um, I think I look, I don't know. I think I look equally like my mom and my dad. So when will it be? Okay, so for the, the music video release party, um, hi from Mexico. That's awesome. Um, oh, we will get back to that mean at all. Okay, sorry, I'm getting so distracted. Um, so the release party will be um, probably either late October or early November. We're just trying to figure out a time that works for everybody, for Gabby, for my mom, with her shooting schedule, for Cameron, and for myself. Um, so yeah, we're thinking it'll be in a about a month or maybe a little over a month um, and we want to be able to also do a ticket giveaway so some people will be able to get there for free we might do everything for free we're not sure yet but um, there will definitely be some giveaways okay so the doll <laughs> so for the Mina doll that my mom has um, okay so my mom I don't know when she got this doll but she, it's if you don't know what we're talking about, it's in one of my last videos where I did her makeup and she did my makeup, which was great, by the way. Um, but yeah, she has a she has a little doll that she got that looks a lot like me, and I'm not I don't know when she got it. I think it was definitely when I was younger because I remember seeing it when I was younger. And she's always had just she's had a weird thing with dolls, you know. She also had a giant gorilla that was like bigger than me at the time. And I was afraid of it. And my, as you guys know, my parents play tricks on me all the time. So they would keep putting the gorilla in different rooms like it was watching me. So I'd like wake up and it was like in my room and I'd freak out. So yeah, that's, that's my mom and my dad. But anyway, okay, wait, did somebody have a question that I didn't answer? Um, ooh, San Diego. So whenever the release party happens, come up from San Diego and come meet us. Um, this tank top, Tina Fey, is, <laughs> uh, is from H&M. Um, I just went to the, the H&M variety party where my mom honored Lily Reinhardt with a um, 
Advocacy Award, and so we got to look at a bunch of H&M clothes, and I ended up going shopping and getting this top, and jeans, which I have not owned a pair of jeans since I was in high school. So, and why, you ask? <laughs> um, for those of you that have either, like, athletic legs or thicker legs, I just, I never, I've always had very muscular legs from being an athlete, and jeans made me feel so uncomfortable, so I always wear leggings, but I found some H&M, like, stretchy, ooh, let me go get them, hold on. Check this out. I'm so excited. Because I literally never get jeans. And I saw these and they were, look, they're like stretchy. They have little rips in them. Although I feel like at this point, like rips are going to go out of style and I'm, whatever. Anyway, got those. And I got these. And these are stretchy too. Some uh, muscular hamstrings. You can get some action in there. I got shorts. Bam. High waisted, of course. So, and I got this top that I wore to an audition yesterday. I've been auditioning a lot. And this one. Lots the back. So yeah, that's my H and M commercial. They didn't pay me to do that, so I'm gonna have to follow back. Um. Yeah. What was I talking about? Okay, let me scroll back. Hold on. Oh yeah, Millionaire. So um, I have a song called Millionaire that I'm gonna do or that I've already recorded with the EC Twins who I love. And um, that should be coming out really soon. Right now we're in negotiations with a couple of labels and once we choose one, it will be released through them. So I'm very excited. Um, we also just recorded another song so a whole bunch of new music is coming very excited about it very excited to perform them okay ooh questions all right let me scroll back i get really like sidetracked on these i can't really focus um okay so that was the doll we need to talk about the vampire picture that your mom made. <laughs> yes so on Twitter, for those of you um, that follow me on Twitter, at Nina Tobias, um, my mom, I decided to share that I used to think I was a witch, which was very real. Um, I, and so, you know, I still feel like I am, to be honest. It's just, I can say when I was younger, it's like less weird, but, um, but yeah, so I also thought I was going to Hogwarts and all that stuff, which I think we all did. Um, and, but yeah, when I was a lot younger, I was like convinced, I wish I could find the picture, but my mom has this like photo shoot that she did when she was younger and she, it's like a very dark makeup, dark lips. She like looks really like, <laughs> I can't do the look, but yeah, it's like she looks like Wendy when she's at her most mischievous. And so when I was in first grade, I was like, that's you? Yeah. You're a vampire for sure. And I told my dad, because I didn't want to tell my mom, because I thought that if I told her, she would like try and eat me. I thought she was like plotting to eat me eventually. And my dad obviously told my mom. So then it was like this really not funny joke that she would keep like, whenever no one was looking and we're like at the dinner table, she would just like look at me like super creepy. And I was like, oh my God. And I was like, dad, get your wife. Anyway. As you can see, my parents dramatized me when I was younger. So, any other questions about my childhood and my parenting or my parents' parenting? Uh, my favorite cover to sing. Um, my favorite cover to sing is Gravity. And um, once we get on the road, I'm going to be singing original songs and definitely Gravity. Um, it's Gravity by Sarah Bareilles, not the Wicked 
musical gravity? Uh, my favorite song that I've written, I mean, I do love another one, but it's funny because by the time you guys got to hear it, I've heard it for the past like year and a half and I'm so over hearing it, but, <laughs> but I, I do love the song and I enjoy it and I like other people that enjoy it. So, but, um, another, another one I actually wrote, um, I want to say like, about, yeah, I guess it was a year and a half ago, and um, I wanted to find two people to get on the song that I thought meshed with the vibe, and um, so first I got Cameron on it, and that was like, I got him on it like a half a year ago, maybe even a year ago, and he recorded his part, and then I was trying to find the other girl part and finally got Gabby, so it worked out, but in the, in the meantime, since I've also, I wrote the song, I wrote the music, I wrote the lyrics, I've heard it like 10,000 times. So it's just like another one, another one, another one. I can't. And then the, the music video is going to come out. So I want to hear it even more. But anyway, okay, sorry. What are we talking about? Um, favorite, favorite song, like aside from my own songs, I have a few. I love Troy Sivan, and I love his song, My, My, My. That's my favorite of his. Um, I love Toblo. I love her song, Talking Body, and Cool Girl. Um, I love Prince. Prince is my favorite artist of all time. So I love Purple Rain, um, I Would Die For You. Those are amazing. Do I ship phallus? We've talked about this. So <clears throat> I, I appreciate phallus. I think Skeet is fantastic. I want Alex to be happy. So I'm like, yes, and also no, because I also love Alex when she's just like doing her solo, you know, end the world kind of mentality. So I don't know. Just don't know. Oops, I did something. Oh, okay. Um, when am I gonna do Madonna cover? Oh, I have promised so many covers at this point. Um, I'm going to do all of them. I've actually been been practicing Madonna. Been practicing Demi. Um, there was a couple of Ellie Goulding requests. I, I promise you, I'm gonna do them. I just I get I've been really busy with auditioning and with um, getting all my music together and all that. So I haven't had as much free time, but I'm going to do it. I promise. I've, I've been promising a couple covers for like months. So I'm really sorry. Um, will you ever go on tour? Yes. I can't say the dates yet, but yes. Um, my favorite show as a kid depends on how young we're talking, but, um, SpongeBob at one point, Hannah Montana, I loved, because um, I was like, oh yeah, I'm in high school, like I want to be a pop star, that makes sense. Um, even though like she looked the same as both Miley and Hannah. Um, <laughs> which Teletubby are you? Who are you? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know that. I know there's a yellow. There's a yellow Teletubby, right? So. Do I love Harry Potter movies? Yeah, I mean, again, I thought, okay. <clears throat> so my mom wrote to me as Dumbledore. See, she's, you know what, she's really messed up. But she wrote to me as Dumbledore. And she wrote to me when I was like, I, when I was seven years old. And she said, congratulations, Nina, you've been accepted to Hogwarts. We are so excited to have you. We need you, um, you know, to practice your witchcraft until you can get accepted at 11 years old. And so for the next four years, I practiced to go to Hogwarts, and she kept sending me acceptance letters from Dumbledore. Like, who does this? What do you think happened when I got to 11 and I was devastated? But then I was like, well, my birthday's in September. Maybe, like, 
because the acceptance to Hogwarts is in September. I was like, maybe it's like next September. So then I kept studying witchcraft for another year. And then 12 came and I was even more devastated. So anyway, my parents are terrible. Okay, what are we doing? What are we talking about? Favorite Riverdale character. Oops, I pressed something again. Um, favorite Riverdale character. My mom would be mad if I don't say um, Alice Cooper. Did it just get darker? Yeah, it does. Sorry, I'm on my computer. <laughs> don't mind me. Um, so, uh, I would say Alice Cooper, because she'll probably watch this and then get mad at me. But um, I like, obviously, Tony Topaz, um, because she's really cool. And I auditioned for her, so I'm rooting for her. And I love Vanessa. Um, I really love, I love Betty, obviously. I think that Lily does an amazing job, just like, showing the world in her eyes every time she's on screen you're just like you just want to help betty you know because she's hurting um okay wait hold on sorry i'm going back would i ever go on riverdale that's something a lot of people ask me um sorry i just had a huge lunch i ate way too much um so i mean i um, I've auditioned for a few things for the CW and for for Riverdale and Sabrina and stuff. I think with Riverdale, I of course would love to, but I'm not sure if it fits into the world because I do look a lot like my mom. So, you know, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I, if she has another illegitimate child, which Lord knows she could, then I'm all for it. Did you, um, what's your favorite episode so far? Did I hear about Jordan and Ginger? What happened? What? <laughs> Tell me. I don't know. What happened? Um, favorite episode so far? Carrie the musical episode. I thought it was really well done. I thought everyone had an amazing voice. Um, they're engaged. Holy shit. I need to text them. Wow, I didn't know that. This has been a really, really good live stream, guys. I'm learning so much. Um, I, but by the way, I love both of them so much, so I'm very happy that they're engaged. Um, for Halloween this year, I don't know what I'm gonna be, but I take Halloween very seriously. Um, so, I will be multiple things. I'm usually three, four costume kind of person. Um, so there's a lot of planning that goes involved. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Um, favorite restaurant here in LA? Okay, yes, I do have a favorite restaurant. Um, if you have heard of, and this is so random, but there's a place called Candela's on La Brea um, and it's Taco Wednesday theme so instead of being Taco Tuesday they do Taco Wednesday and it's a dollar tacos and um, it's bomb so if you like Mexican food and you like like really cheap stuff that's the one do you ever open DMs um good question because sometimes depending on like if I've like I don't know, for example, when I did the another one compilation video of you guys singing the song and sending me the videos, I would actually go through and obviously look at everything. Um, I feel like my phone's about to die. Is it? No. Okay. Sorry. Oh, ADD. Okay. Um, yeah. So, so moral of the story is I generally don't um, because I do get a lot of spam too and just like random accounts that are like promoting something so I get a lot of um, DMs that I don't look at um, but sometimes if like I've asked you guys something and I'm like looking for suggestions or um, we're doing like a thing like the video together I will definitely look through and saw a lot of really nice stuff that I hadn't looked at yet so yeah um, and my mom I 
No. <laughs> my mom, I got my mom on Instagram and social media in the first place. She was barely able to handle that. She definitely does not look at messages, I promise you. Unless she says she's going to. Um, products that I use for my hair. Um, what products do you use for your hair? I have really curly hair too. Yeah, um, <laughs> girl, it's a struggle. Um, for anybody with curly hair or like difficult hair, um, I actually use Kiehl's. I really, really like Kiehl's products. Um, I found that I think the biggest thing is not just the conditioner, but actually the shampoo as well, because if you get a shampoo that's like strips your hair, um, even when you get an amazing conditioner, it's just so damaged. So Kiehl's I've loved. Um, right now my hair looks insane because I just had an audition and I curled it. So this is like dry and terrible. But yeah, Kiehl's. Or um, Mixed Chick. They have good curly stuff. Um, am I planning on touring outside of LA? Yes. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I can't say much yet, but I will be doing some tour stuff so soon. I should do a song with my mom. My mom doesn't like singing. <laughs> you know, surprise. She, when we did, or when, not we, when she did the Riverdale Carrie episode and had to sing, she literally called me like two weeks before and she was like, I don't want to do it. I don't know how to sing. And so we actually worked through her songs um, before she went in and, and did them. And she was like, she actually worked really hard and, and did a really good job, but she's, she does not like singing. Um, I do know who Connie Britton is. Um, yeah, she did a really good job. I'm going back more because I keep skipping stuff. I'm trying to, do I like painting? I do actually, wait, let me show you. I actually have paintings with me that I've done. Um, oh dear. Oh no, sorry, I did something. Um, here, I'm taking you to one of my paintings. So this is, this is one of them. Yeah, it is an eye. You know, there's the details. There's the eye. And then I have one more here. It's lips on top of like different color patterns and stuff. So yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't paint that often, but I do really enjoy it. Okay, now I need to, sorry. I'm trying to hook this back up. I'm a failure. Um. <clears throat> okay. Oh, thank you. Is my phone actually charging? I hope it doesn't die. If it dies, I'm sorry, but I don't think it will. Hold on. Okay. Where were we? I heard you went to Waldorf School. Yeah, I went to, um, I, where, where did I go? I've been to 13 schools, so I'm trying to remember. I went to one Waldorf that's in Honolulu, Hawaii. And then I went to one in Santa Barbara, California. So I was there for, um, I want to say like first and second and third grade-ish. Um, but yeah, I moved a lot because wherever my mom was filming, we would actually end up moving. So um, my, my whole family, we've all moved a lot in our life. And it was really fun. We were in South Africa when she was filming a movie. We were in Canada a lot. Um, we were in New York when she was doing Gossip Girl and Californication, and then we did, um, we were in San Francisco for a while at St. Ignatius. So, yeah. Oh, in Hawaii. She was actually doing a show called Fantasy Island when we were in Hawaii. Um, going back. Could you come to Louisiana on tour? Um, so I actually don't have the new dates or locations yet, but um, they will be coming out and we'll have all those cities and stuff available for you to check out. Um, so yeah, I don't know them yet, but I will definitely at some point on my own be doing a tour and 
try to hit all the cities that can. One back more. And then for those of you that are in Los Angeles, I do all kinds of performances out here. Da -da. I'm a good influence. How am I a good influence? I feel like I'm a mess. Would your dad or brother ever do a YouTube video with you? My dad would not, but um, my brother would for sure. What should me and my brother do? We could like fight. We actually, we, we get along really well. We've always been like best friends since we were kids because we were only a year apart. Um, but yeah, what, what would we do? Should I do his makeup? <laughs> I should have him do my makeup. Yeah. No, we'll figure something out. But yeah, he would definitely do a video. Do you have any tips with how to deal with nervousness at auditions? I'm auditioning for my school play and I'm so scared. That's awesome, first of all. Um, for dealing with tips for nervousness. I mean, to be honest, it's always going to be there. Uh, nerves are just a part of performing. They're a part of anything like public speaking, doing like presenting a project to, you know, your class. There's just, there's always going to be an element of nervousness. I think something that helped me when I was in acting class, um, the, a lot of the teachers preach that just accept that you're nervous. I think when we like try to pretend like we're not, it almost makes it worse. It makes it even more like dramatic. So if you kind of just accept, yeah, I'm nervous and you know that's what you're feeling, breathe through it, and just go into it fully prepared and know that, because being not like unprepared is often what makes me nervous when I'm going into something, and the more that I prepare for it, the more confident I feel going into it. So just prepare and know that everyone's nervous, um, but kind of use those nerves to give it even better performance, I think. But yeah, let me know how it goes. What play is it? Prank your mom. <laughs> I should prank her. I don't know what to do though. I have to think. I do what I, it's not really a prank, but I always mess with her. I'll say like, oh, what's that? And I'll, you know, be like, oh, what's that unicorn over there? And I put my fist here and she looks back and it's not really a good prank. It's just kind of mean. Um, do size makeup. <laughs> I don't think he would let me do that. Because he's like a rapper, you know? So I feel like he's not going to let me put do his makeup. Or maybe he will. Um, I'm scrolling way back. I'm trying to get a lot of these in. Um, what inspired us to get into mental health? So um, for those of you that um, my brother Sly was diagnosed with bipolar. And um, I was actually, so he was diagnosed when I was a freshman in college. And um, I was choosing my major at the time. So I decided to study psychology and cognitive neuroscience, biological psychology. And just, I started to learn more about it because I think the biggest misunderstanding in mental health is just not knowing what stigma is, not knowing what mental health entails. And so we all just started becoming educated about it. And pretty much with most things that you start becoming really educated about, you start seeing things that just aren't right, like the healthcare system, how expensive it is, um, how many things are misdiagnosed. And then it just starts building your fire of why you wanna help. And as my mom is an actress and I'm a singer and we, have somewhat of a platform, it's like, it just makes sense to just be open and honest about your experience. And the more you do it, you then realize, oh, there's a bunch of people out there that now feel more comfortable talking about their mental health story because there's not as much stigma the more you talk about it. So that's how we got into it. And my mom just got honored by Jenna Dewan, um, presented her with an award. For those of you that watch Witches of, Witches of East End, they were family, and they've stayed close ever since, and um, Jenna made a really beautiful speech and presented my mom with a 
advocacy award for the Creative Coalition. So that was really, really cool. Yeah, degree in psychology, yay. <laughs> it's, a, it's a really cool degree. I don't know, it, it, like, it kind of applies to everything. That's what I really liked about it. Okay, going back. Um, I only have one sibling. His name is Sylvester. Well, his full name, actually, is Sylvester Time Amic Alexis. But he goes by Sly. And he's my brother. He's um, a year older than me, so we kind of look very similar. It's a Wonderful Life. Oh my God, that's so amazing. Oh, I love that movie. Yeah, that'll be really cool. Um, I So I actually didn't get to do musicals and plays when I was in high school um, because I ran track and track was my main focus. That's how I got into college. Um, so, and I was, I was very, very serious about it. So I, I mean, I had crazy practices all year and I wasn't allowed to be <laughs> in the play. Um, not even by my coach or my dad, my dad was my coach, but um, by the, the theater department. They were like, you can't be here if you're at track. And I was like, but you know, Zac Efron did it in High School Musical, I can do it. And they were like, what's High School Musical? And I was like, I don't want to be a part of your program. You don't know that. I'm kidding, none of that happened, but I just couldn't do it both. Um, my full name is Nina Tobias Amick Alexis. Funny story about that. <laughs> so you guys know me as Mina Tobias because that's my first and middle name. But uh, my full name is obviously Mina Tobias. Last name's Amic Alexis. And when I was in the NCAA, so I was an NCAA Division One athlete. I was the one of the captains of my um, track team. And I started writing music when I was in high school, and then a lot more seriously, I wrote a lot of music in college. And I started releasing it for the first time to the world on um, SoundCloud and all of that. And um, the NCAA, which for those of you that don't know, is the National Collegiate Athlet Ath Athletic something, whatever. It's basically just the athletic organization for collegiate sports. And the NCAA has a lot of really strict rules about um, athletes who have like, they're trying to start um, businesses. The idea is that like, say I'm a Reggie Bush or some huge college athlete that everyone knows and I'm trying to start a shoe business, I'm gonna have an unfair advantage as Reggie Bush than the regular student because of who I am. So they have really, really strict rules with um, athletes using their name or their face in a business venture. And so I was trying to basically be my own business as an artist. You, when you sell a song, it has your name and your face on it. So I couldn't use my first and last name, so I had to use Mina Tobias, and I could never show my face. <laughs> Not that anyone was listening. But, um, so Mina Tobias just stuck. It was easier than the longer name, Mina Amick Alexis. So that's the story of my name. But yeah. Oh, the NCAA. <clears throat> Hello. Is anyone just joining? <laughs> You've missed so much rambling. Um, I didn't realize it's already been a half hour. I should probably stop at some point. Um, especially for those of you that are on at two o'clock and are in like Asia and stuff, which is so cool. Um, what is my favorite thing about my brother? Hmm. Huh, that's a really good question. Um, have you just joined? Hi. <laughs> Welcome. Well, this is gonna be on my YouTube, which I've learned, which is why I'm wearing makeup now, because last time I was like, frizzy hair just worked out. I was like, oh, I'll go live, and then it stays on my YouTube channel. Anyway, what was, oh, my brother. Um, I think my favorite thing about him is that he, he, did you guys hear those birds? Oh my God, it's like a jungle out there. Um, 
Um, he's extremely courageous. And I'm saying that outside of everything that he's gone through and advocated with mental health, um, but he has always been a really, really courageous person, whether it was in athletics, he was a star athlete, um, always a leader, always um, just really courageous. He just always did things that he loved and he, he didn't really ever care about like boundaries. Like I got into track because he was in track and he won the national championship and I was like, <laughs> If he can do it, I can do it. And I did. But it was it was the fact that he got into it first and like didn't care that, you know, he would become like a junior Olympic champion. He just like was like, Oh yeah, I'm gonna do it because it seemed fun. So he's always been like a, a leader to me in trying things. And he was actually one of the first people that I saw that was using like production equipment and writing music. So I was like, Oh, I wanna try that too. So he was always like the one who would start things and get me interested because I was I was very competitive with him and I was like oh all right he's trying something new I'm gonna do that so yeah he's a very cool guy you and your mom should do a mukbang YouTube what is mukbang that sounds sounds sexual I don't know I don't know what you're saying to me can I get a hoo ya hoo ya you eat while talking. Oh my God, no. That is my biggest pet peeve in the entire world. I hate the sound of eating. Like chips, crunchy apple, noodles. Oh my God, no. Oh God. Oh, I can't think about it. I hate it. Those, I've seen those videos and they are the most disturbing things that I have ever seen in my life. Oh God, I'm getting anxiety. I have to, I, we, let's talk about something else. <clears throat> okay, going back right to, <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to like completely reject your question, but you know how some people either love that sound or it like scares them to death and you hate it. That I'm, I can't, I cannot listen to it. Oh my God. Um, favorite, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. let me just go back more. Um, Um, favorite TV show, I have, I have a few because I love TV. Um, and I actually watch a lot of TV to, to study acting as well because you can learn so much. Like I watch Friends all the time because um, it's like, it's like the best, like, what's it called? Oh, multicam show. It's just like genius. So I watch it all the time to study it. Um, but my favorite TV show right now, I just finished all of The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel on Hulu. Um, that show, I mean, it won Emmys and everything, but it's just like, it's written and directed like a play. It's like watching a wonderful Broadway play. It's fantastic. Um, I also love Snowfall, which might be inappropriate for some of you because it's about a drug dealer and all kinds of terrible situations. Snowfall's amazing. Um, what else? I just binge watched something. I'm going to love Sabrina. When I went in for Sabrina and for another part, I got to read the script and it was just like, oh, it's so good. Because I used to watch the original Sabrina back in the day, the teenage witch one, and I'm obsessed. Anything with witches, as you know, I'm gonna love. Um, the Walking Dead. You know, I, I don't love zombies. I can do vampires. I can do witches. Werewolves, I'm kind of like, eh. Zombies, they're just disturbing for me. I don't like it. Um, don't ever watch ASMR. Yeah, I know. I asked, oh my God. Gabby loves ASMR. Like she falls asleep to it. And she was showing me these videos and I actually wanted to cry. I wanted to, I wanted to cry. I don't watch The Americans and I feel like I've, people have been telling me to watch it. Have I been to Warner Brothers Studio? Yeah, so growing up, I grew up on, you know, like wherever my mom was working. Um, I would go and my brother and I would hang out and run around and like cause havoc, wreak havoc, cause chaos, whatever. Did I read Twilight as a teen? <laughs> you know, 
I read the first chapter of Twilight, and I just, I, it wasn't, it's not my style. <laughs> but I did see all the movies, because of Edward. Um, I'm going back a little bit more, if I skip stuff. Um, I need to wrap this up. I'm in college to be a vet. That's really cool. Where are you going to college? Um, I went to college, well, I went to college um, on the East Coast, so it was cold. But our school actually had a really good vet school. We had a lot of veterinarians, and we had a lot of um, agriculture as well, and hotel school, which is where I took wines class. If you have a wines class at your college, take it. Not because you get to drink wine, but because it's awesome. You learn a lot of stuff. What year did your parents get married? Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I was the flower girl at the wedding. So it was after I was born. I was born in, what was it? I feel like they got born in like, or <laughs> sorry, they got married in um, 90, Six, ninety-seven, around that time. I'm sorry, I don't know the answer. I just know they've been together forever. Okay, just gonna answer a couple more, and then I'm gonna let you guys live. <laughs> Wines class is literally is, and I'm not saying this like I'm a wino because I do like wine now, and I didn't like it before, but I took it because all of my friends were in it, and um. It's just really interesting when you learn about wine culture. It's because you learn about the countries that it comes from, the history in France and Italy, all the different wine laws. There's actual wine laws. Um, and it just you just learn a ton of stuff about the culture. Because in a lot of European countries and South American countries, wine is a part of the actual culture, like how districts are created and how vineyards came to be, and in California, how these like monks were the ones who created these monasteries because they made vineyards and just, yeah, anyway, <laughs> don't get me started. Um, come back to Vegas. Yeah, I, I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to go to Vegas for something. I will, I'm going to be doing shows in a lot of places next year, so Keep your eyes open for that. Austria. I have never been to Austria and I really, really, really want to go. Um, yeah, I love Lana Del Rey. Oh my god, don't make me do any more covers. I have so many to catch up on. That's why I just want to do a live stream and get them all done because I, I actually, I have been reading all their requests. I have been practicing them. I just haven't taken the time to record it yet. So I'm going to try and either do just like a live stream and do a bunch of them. I also, there's a studio in the valley that I, I do live stream performances, so I can just literally like do a really long one and do a bunch of shows. Um, okay, I'm gonna do a couple more questions and then I'm out of here. Southeastern, that's cool. Hogwarts House, I mean, uh, not Gryffindor, because I don't like the most popular thing even though I do have a Gryffindor shirt. Um, I guess Hufflepuff, just because I want to say that a lot. Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff. Um, okay. Team Harry Potter. <laughs> uh, do I like Stranger Things? Yes, I do. Um, I really like it. I think it's awesome. And it's very, like, 80s and a lot of my inspiration for music is 80s music and so I, I love the soundtrack I was hooked on the first episode when I heard the soundtrack Big Little Lies I watched the whole TV. I watch a lot of TV I've seen all of these shows <laughs> Big Little Lies I am a huge fan of love that show it's so well done and really unexpected like if a lot of shows especially when you're like in entertainment you, you know what's gonna happen because people write very similarly but I, I thought it was just really well done how they created it, the actors that they cast. Obviously it has Laura Dern, who's also in Twin Peaks. So 
Am I going to sing in Riverdale? I love the Twin Peaks music video. Ah, thank you. For those of you that haven't seen my music videos, they are on my channel. Um, I have a Twin Peaks inspired music video called Freedom. And we created that with um, Melissa Hickey, who is from the American Film Institute. She directed it. She did an amazing, amazing job. And basically we created, for those of you that don't know Twin Peaks, this is, it doesn't matter, it's okay. It's still just a weird video, so you'll enjoy it. But um, instead of it being a victim on the beach that's dead and wrapped in plastic, we had me wrapped in plastic and come out of the plastic and walk away and escape and all that stuff. So it was a cool, like, um, I don't know, like dialogue about kind of changing the script for the female victim and seeing if she can escape and all that stuff. Um, I don't watch American Horror Story. I can't, it's, it's too scary. Um, 90s shows, um, 90s, Seinfeld. When I did the poll on my Instagram and nobody was giving Seinfeld any love, it actually made me really sad. I was really sad. <laughs> it was like, um, better show Friends or Seinfeld. And it was like 94 or 95% Friends. And I was like, I love Friends, but Seinfeld is a really good show. You guys are, need to give it a chance. Okay. Do I know German? I used to take German when I was at Waldorf back in like way back in the day, but now I only know like how to count and how to say yes and no. Okay. I gotta go. Um, favorite show my mom has been in? Oh, Charmed. Yes. I, I love Charmed. I speak Spanish. Um, <laughs> what was it? I was answering a question. I'm sorry. Favorite show my mom has been in? Um, Witches of East End. Um, and by the way, for those of you, I don't know if anybody here this pertains to, but <laughs> so many people um, message Jenna and my mom and Julia and Rachel about um, bringing Witches of East End back because people loved that show, as did I. But I'm telling you, the actors, they, they had nothing to do with canceling it. <laughs> And they're trying really hard to figure out another way to, to complete it because it was left very open-ended and my mom's still stuck in hell, which is like pretty typical for her. But um, they're working on it. Um, I loved that show too. They Everybody loved it. So if something will happen, we'll see. I mean, it's just tough. It's tough to bring shows back and get everything together, but people are absolutely trying to make it happen. So fingers crossed. Um, okay. 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 I'm gonna go. <laughs> Do I speak other languages? I, sp I speak Spanish. Did I say that? I speak Spanish. I, I kind of like, fl my dad is actually Spanish and black, so I'm German. My mom's a bunch of white things. She's like German, Swedish, Norwegian, something like that. And then my dad's Spanish and black, so... I can speak Spanish, um, and I fluctuate between fluent and just really good at understanding it, <laughs> depending on how much I practice. I have never been to Oklahoma, I don't think. Would I ever do a video with my dad? I don't know. I would love to. My dad is hilarious. He's really funny, but um, he does not like to be seen. <laughs> he doesn't get social media. He doesn't like pictures, as you can tell. He's, it, people didn't even know he existed. They're like, who is this man in my mom's photo? And it's her husband of like 30 years or whatever. So anyway, well, thank you all for joining me on this live stream. I'm sorry for rambling for almost an hour. Like I'm ashamed of myself, but um, yeah. So I will keep you guys updated on um, on the video release party, I'm actually, I'm in the thick of planning it right now. And I want to get as many of you there who are able to make it, who are in the area and, and want to meet us and meet Gabby and my mom and Cameron. Um, so I'm going to try and make that happen and there'll be plenty of time to plan it. So 
It's not going to be any time like super soon, about a month-ish. And um, yeah, so the music video then will be coming out around that time. So stay tuned. <laughs> and yeah, I'm trying to think what else. I'll work on those covers, I promise. I do eventually do them, I promise you. It's just, it's been pretty crazy. And I'm, I'm very lucky to be auditioning a lot now, so I'm definitely not downplaying that, but I do wanna get to the covers that I promised, so. All right, well, bye now. Thanks for joining me. This is my YouTube channel. Check out my other videos if you're bored. Or go to sleep, most of you. And then, Oh yeah, and I'll text Jordan. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't know about this. Okay, bye. I don't know how to end it. How do you end it? Um, okay.